we really want to uh, uh, provide an enhanced mobility service, but more importantly, we want to get people's opinions on this enhanced mobility service. Because if we want mass ro rollout of this uh, technology, it's really up to the community and people uh, to understand this technology and then use it. It will link the train station uh, here at Tonsley uh, and the bus stops on uh, South Road. Um, so as the people get on and off uh, the buses and trains, uh, the shuttle will be there to meet them. The shuttle will carry uh, up to 15 passengers uh, and has a maximum speed of 40 kilometres an hour. We're not starting there, there on day one, but we're hoping to build up to those higher speeds. We're doing time series surveys, so we get their attitudes before, they experience flex, uh, during and after uh, as well. So we can build up that database of pe people's comfort levels, how safe they feel and what their attitudes are to the technology. In October 2016, the South Australian Government re released the Future Mobility Lab Fund, uh, a $10 million fund for autom autonomous vehicle trials here in South Australia. I was uh, lucky enough to win a million dollars of that funding. It paid for flex um, and paid for the, uh, for the trial. And the whole hope is to get lots of aut autonomous vehicle trials happening in the state. So we have a five-year trial. Um, uh, we'll be here, here at uh, Tonsley for a while and then we'll go up to Bedford Park where we'll link um, the Flinders Medical Centre to our main campus. So just go to the uh, flexbus.flinders.edu.au website um, and you can book a ride.